from the Granite State. Let's uh, welcome New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu. Uh, Governor, thanks for joining us. You make some interesting points about Bernie Sanders. You don't think his popularity uh, is because of uh, how close he is in a neighboring state. You, says that you say it's because, well, maybe, because New Hampshire people know him and feel that he's genuine, and that's why he, he's, he's going to do well. Yeah, I mean, look, New Hampshire is a place where you have to come and earn the votes. Uh, person to person, we have to look you in the eye. We have to buy off on you as a person, Republican and Democrat. Uh, Bernie is as socialist as they come, but at the end of the day, he's pretty unabashed about it. He doesn't change his position. He is what he is. And there's something refreshing to the, to the Democrat base. Elizabeth Warren surged, but she placates. She panders. She's a phony. She's just not genuine as a candidate, which is exactly why she's falling off. Tom Steyer, Tom, you're just talking. He spent $20 million, and all he really achieved is annoying the entire state. Uh, he wants to talk about uh, being a good economist. Uh, that, that's the worst return on investment. I, I wouldn't invest with that guy in 100 years. So you, you can't buy your way in. you, you got to spend time person to person here. Um, that's why Bernie does well. That's why Trump does well here, frankly, because what you see is what you get. I understand all that, uh, Governor. Is that, is, what's on your license plate? Uh, Live free or die? I just don't understand. Live free or die. More than four words on a license plate. It's how we live here. It really uh, is. That's what I mean. So it, it, when you live under socialism, are you free? No, of course not. And that's then, why then if Bernie were the nominee, Trump will run away with New Hampshire. Uh, it makes no, yeah, Trump, maybe Trump will. But I, I still don't. I mean, the, even the Democrats in New Hampshire ought to be imbued with a little of that sentiment. No, and, and they're going to support a socialist. Well, they are. I mean, look, that's why Bernie got 60 percent uh, in 2016. He'll be lucky to get 30 uh, percent this, this time around. You have more moderates uh, that are trying to be moderate. Klobuchar is going to surge. She's going to surprise a lot of people today. Biden, um, uh, you know, Buttigieg is, a, is socialist. He, he comes off as a moderate, but he's very socialist along with Warren, which ultimately is going to lead to a very brokered convention this summer. It's going to be very ugly. It's going to be like a WWE match in Milwaukee as they try to figure it out. And they're not going to be able to. Right. They're just not going to because they don't play that, the, the two sides of that party don't play well in the sandbox uh, with the strong economy. That's what's going to give Trump the momentum to win in November. So have you been to Dixville Notch? I have. I won. I won there six to two in my first election in sixteen, and that was prescient. So, what about Bloomberg? He, he won three of those people there. Is that is that a harbinger? No, no. Look, that, basically, I, I I don't know for sure. I think all the the folks voting there are pretty much all of the same family. So, you know, if they just had you know Bur Bloomberg on the mind, then then they're going to go vote for Bloomberg. But you know, Bloomberg has kind of thumbed his nose here in terms of New Hampshire. He's trying to buy an election which the progressive socialists are not going to allow a out-of-touch white old billionaire buy his way into the nomination. That's just not going to happen. Now, he will be influential because he's ultimately going to get a lot of delegates, as will Biden uh, and some of the other candidates, and they're going to have to figure all that out. But I, I just can't see nationally Bloomberg walking away with this thing. Uh, the, the socialists push Pelosi around. They're sure as heck going to push Bloomberg and Biden around. I don't care how much money they have. Do you think when it's all said and done then that Bernie Sanders is going to be the, the nominee? Um, I, I think that's the most likely scenario, but um, it's going to be ugly. It is because that means the moderates aren't going to come out for him. Uh, if it's a it's a if it's a moderate, the socialists won't come out for them. Right. They, they just don't play well together, those two sides. And I don't think they're going to just magically get it together all of a sudden right before right before November. So um, that it could be also somebody that we don't even know. I mean, it literally could be a candidate that isn't running. That's how brokered conventions sometimes play out. So it's going to be exciting on their side. But in the meantime, we're focused on the economy. We, you know, we, we have this booming economy here in New Hampshire. A lot of states are doing very well economically. That means more money in people's pocket for themselves, for their neighbors for their community. That's how they're going to vote in November, because it's in their interest to secure that for, their, for themselves, their family, and their future. Economy really does drive a lot of what happens in that ballot box. Governor, a, a brokered convention could be the best bet for Bloomberg, though. Obviously, he's coming at this very unconventionally. It could be, because I don't know what happens with a guy. With, they've never had a brokered convention with a billionaire that you know, just doesn't care about his billions and will spend whatever he needs to within that convention medium. I don't know how that would work. Um, it's going to be it's going to be interesting to watch. That's for sure. Um, you know, who knows? Who, who really knows? I think Warren is going to going to really start falling off. If Biden doesn't do well here, he's got to put all his money into South Carolina, hopefully win South Carolina and give himself a little bit of momentum to win some of those southern Democrat states where he should do well in. Bloomberg is spending a fortune in places like Texas and Massachusetts and other states right now. Um, states that he could not win in the general, by the way, but he could get him to the nomination.